Okay, I'm here with the legendary okay. Grammy nominated producer. Good friend. I haven't seen him for a long time. We're here in LA. I'm here with Harmony Samuel. What's up, bro? Oh god, this guy. Family, now, family, family. This is it's unbelievable to be here. I'm very excited, but we're here to talk about something that we haven't actually spoken about before. We always right. speak about music. Right. This is actually about how Harmony has transformed his body into kind of a machine in working out because he wasn't always like this. No, definitely not. He wasn't always <laughs> like this. So what we're trying what we're trying to establish now is how have you managed to maintain from working with big artists like Ariana Grande and like being in the studio setting for so many hours a day yeah. and finding that time that you, you've always had, but then now you're working on your body more, but you, you've had that time before. What changed? Um, uh, a few things. Um, I noticed I was really, I was a slim guy in school. I was really slim. I used to play football. Um, you know, I was very athletic, played basketball, ran track for Blackheath Harriers for about three years. Um, so I was really athletic and I was really slim, slim build. And then um, when I finished college, uh, I was in a studio a lot. You know, I decided I wanted to do music full time. And then I just noticed year after year, I got bigger and bigger. And it was just like, Stop I remember out. one year, I was like double what I was before. Like yeah. in belly, everything, in cheeks. Everything and I was quick. just like, yeah. it, I was, I just, my mother, my mother, I came home, my mother was like, who are you? Right. Yeah. Um, and it, and it, I was like 25, 26 years old. And uh, it was really depressing. Like, I was, like, really down about it. I was very insecure. And I, you know, I masked it. I masked it well by wearing certain clothes, but it was really an issue for me. And uh, when I moved to L.A. in 2010, um, L.A. is very, very... Uh, Image conscious. It, yeah, it's very yeah. inspiring yeah. to see... And to be in the sun all the time. All the time. Yeah. So, you, you know, when you're going to, in London. Yeah, because it's cold. Yeah, it's cold, exactly. You could wear a coat and look fly. Um, <laughs> yeah, nah, and I would go to the beach and I'd keep my t-shirt on and I really felt uncomfortable so I was like you know what I'm gonna really make this a lifestyle and it's very very common for producers to be unhealthy yeah, because definitely late night studios eating bad you know eating past your bedtime and just having a really bad regimen so uh, it started on and off on and off on and off and I was trying to get into it and then tore my right uh, patella tendon oh and, wow and, and, I, I, recovery injury like I know that's crazy eight, eight, seven months yeah. Then the following year, literally around the same time, tore the right one. <laughs> oh, and, and you know, guys, what that's called? That's called compensation. Now, because his other leg hadn't, his potato center hadn't healed properly on right. the other leg, he went back to the gym too early. I already know that without right. even telling me, because yeah. I tell all my clients this, and I say it to everyone, wait to rehab the injury till it's 100% right. till you can get back. Yeah. But now, how did you overcome that? Because so that's a that double was, whammy. That's so a now, double whammy. So now I'm overweight. So when I... So my first one, I was actually, I'd lost like 30 pounds. I'd lost 30 pounds and my trainer at the time said, yo, you might, because I was literally working two, two, two days. Yeah. I was on a really strict uh, food diet and, uh, which was the biggest problem. Because, you know, I was yeah. like, I thought it was the working out. No. And <laughs> the biggest problem was food uh, and how much I was taking in, um, how I was taking it, when I was taking it. And it, and it was all of those things that really kind of like were weighing me down. It wasn't, I remember the first six months, I was working out and I was like, nothing's changing. Like, you were I'm fit. Just, I'm, you I'm were, fit, fit, but I was but just, yeah, exactly. I still had the belly, still felt uncomfortable, still, and I didn't understand. A friend said, was like, you spent a lot of money in the gym. I don't see much of a difference. Yeah. It yeah. really embarrassed me. So anyway, tore the left one, tore the right one, literally 14 months in total to recover. And um, once I got my, once I tore that one, I was like, all right, cool. Took a good eight months to rehab. And then it really, really begun. And what I learned in those eight months while I was rehabbing was food is the biggest issue. Um, automatically became vegan. Yeah. Um, so I no longer eat red meat. And uh, been doing vegan for a while. And it actually was the thing that made me understand, like, it takes hum it takes a very long time to, to digest red meat. All of that. Yeah. So I had to get a couple things straight. First thing I had to get straight was food. The eight month recovery was what I learned how to eat. eat I properly. knew what I was allergic to. I did a, did a blood test. Yeah. Made sure I knew I'm like no milk. Yeah. You know so I mean? so you were automatically you had to cut out the dairy. Cut and out what about the wheat? wheat? Oh, wheat, dairy, wheat, everything. Yeah, yeah. And, everything. And then you and then did you notice that week change? Because I know mine was in a week. Literally. Immediately. Just from how I felt. Listen, my bloatedness left me the first week. Like yeah. I used to suffer from just being bloated. Like I could eat 
a candy and I'd feel bloated. I was like, yeah. Jesus, Mary, what is this? Yeah, what is it? And basically, my body just couldn't take, break down yeah, certain break down things. Couldn't food, break yeah. down wheat, couldn't break down. So, you know, we just changed the diet. Literally, after I changed the diet and then went back to working out, I came back so much stronger. So, my, I remember going to rehab and they were looking at me like, you're recovering quite fast. And I was like, well... I said, what have you, are you working out? I said, no, I'm just been eating right. Like, I'm yeah. not really big on lifting weights. Yeah. Um, even though we body, do, body but it's more stuff, natural yeah. with pull-ups. You yeah. know, a lot of pull-ups. I um, noticed that, and I see, I see that you, you went to more of the calisthenic route, yeah. and then it kind of probably fits in with you because you're body type. Right. Because I'm, I think if, you do weight, if you do white. weight, if you do weights, oh, I, just I know up. straight away you're like neck. I'm like this. There's no neck going on. But you know I mean? that calisthenics rooted with what you're eating works with your body type and I speak yeah. to people all the time about body types and how to work with your body type to make right. it do what you want it to do you have a team around BOE you've right. got that have you managed to actually it's not preach but just your way of living have, has that kind of filtered to your oh, team oh heck yeah you gotta remember this right firstly I learned I feel like for every time we I don't look at accidents or injuries as uh, a bad thing. I look at them like it's a way to learn. I learned so much. Like even when we stand up, when we stand up from a chair, we're already lopsided. Yeah. You know what I mean? We stand up with one leg. Yeah. We women when they wear their bags, they yeah. they they put one all that side. weight on one side, holding and the baby, and holding That's the what baby. I watch out, I'm holding the right. Yeah. And there's never really any balance. So there was so much I learned just about myself. It's it's just become a lifestyle thing. You know. You said it best lifestyle it's, it it's not a diet it's not yeah. a diet guys will say that all the time there's no such thing as a diet because a yeah. diet is temporary yeah. he has said this works and you've heard it again for yeah. the nineteen thousand time i've said it it's a lifestyle it's a choice. lifestyle let me tell you how deep it is it actually working out and having a healthy lifestyle with food and working out that it controls how much you don't want to do because yeah. i'm actually up at six and doing business because New York's open, China's open, exactly. you know what I mean? London's awake. Exactly. And I'm actually being able I'm actually able to catch people and do good business yeah. rather than being up till two in the morning and waking up late and And not working and out. Not working out Because it's probably easier to make a decision and say, Do you know what, my hours don't give me the time frame. Oh. To actually do that. That was hence, my excuse before. Yeah, well that well that's why Fit in Five was created for people in the profession like yourself, like mm -hmm. people that don't have time. So you can go, you know what? We got ten minutes. Let's go in the parking lot. You got a nice parking lot out there. Yeah. You get a whole team out of there. You do a fit in five, and you're good, bro. But with what you've been doing and how successful you've been, right. again, I've realized that success has been created around how you've created your lifestyle yeah. and then what you're doing. And like right. you said, you hit that rut where you couldn't get your eating right. You did get depressed. You felt bad. I was with, I was there with you. Yeah. I think I met you at the yeah, time when I was exactly yeah. in the same position yeah. as you. Yeah, yeah. And but then when you find your secret. Right. Because I have a secret, and I say to people, I have a formula that works for everyone. But right. initially, the formula is for me to give it to you, but then you have to implement that formula. Right. That's right. But you found it in yourself, and yeah. that I commend you for it, and that is amazing. I'm yeah. so happy you've done it. I had to find something I, was, I love doing. I'm a swimmer. I love swimming. So swimming became my... I don't like cardio. I'm not a treadmill runner yeah. thing. And I was like, I remember one time... Swimming I went, is a good cardio. Right. Like, <laughs> and and, and I, that was the first cardio thing that I really got into. And I made a, I you know, I'd started doing it three, four times a week, and then it went from twenty laps to forty laps to sixty laps wow. to hundred laps, and I literally, and then I bought a sound system so I can literally swim in the pool with it. Yeah, that's cool. Once I bought that, I was like literally doing hour and a half swimming. Just swimming. Like, and so once I was able to lock in a, a form of cardio that I enjoyed. Yeah. Then. I was able to progress into more other things. So now I can do 20 minutes on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, because you, did, my, you, just, but that's, you just said it though. You found enjoyment that's in it. something. Because like, if you say to somebody, I'm going to make you do everything you hate doing, right. but you're going to look amazing for it. They'll get there, but as soon as I would leave, it's from there, they're, they're back. back to it. Because they, I didn't teach them anything that they enjoy doing. Yes, I've right. been successful and I'm grateful to God for it. And, you know, but I've, most of, I've had more, I've had, a good successful five years in the music industry. The rest was just love for it. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, which means that I'd never. I mean, it. My first check came in two thousand and six. 
in that's, music, and I'd been making music crazy. ten considering, years since. Considering then. I met you way prior to that, yeah, like I'm two, thinking, 2000 we met. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> thinking like to get a check at that point, but like you said, it's like, but that love and that dedication and that time is exactly the same format as within your lifestyle. Right. It's like you put that in to make better for yourself, but because sure. you love doing it, you keep doing it, yeah. and exactly with your body, you've done the same thing. For, and when you say secret, one of the secrets was. So I used to go in. I used to go in and be like, "Yo, I need to lose ten pounds. Yo, I want to lose twenty pounds. I want my stomach to look like this. I want." And then I just took that away and just focused on finishing the workout. Like when you take away the problem and yeah. just and just focus on the solution, which is look, it's gonna hurt. Just enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing's easy. It's nothing, it's, yeah, like like you just said, it. your first check was in two thousand and six in music. Yeah. You started in two thousand actively trying to make money, yeah. but. The results came later, but how great are those results? Oh, I mean, what are the accolades behind these results? I mean, like, I, I remember the first time I got named a super producer, I was confused at my mind because I was like, "What? I'm not a super producer!" Like, I've literally like opening open Billboard. It was like, uh, produced by super producer Harmony Samuels," and I was like, "Super producer." To be honest, I have seen you, like, in my mind, I've kind of seen you like that. Yeah, like, well, I appreciate I like, that. Like, like, I'll listen to something and you'll be like, this guy's just done something completely different. But, I like, I listen to your it. records when I'm working out, so I'm kind of like, I'm inspired because I can hear your inspiration through what you're doing, and mm. I know how you got there. So there's, like, a backstory behind listening well, to it Well, you inspired well. me, because I remember the first time, like, me and Marv, we, you know, we both came... You know, we both had the same struggle. So yeah. I remember one time I hadn't seen you in maybe a year and a half. And uh, Mar said, have you seen Marv? And I said, no. And she shows me Instagram. And I'm like, that's not Marv. She was like, that's Marv. And I mean, your face was like yeah. slim. Like, you, from you, you was saw. ripped. And you, yeah. you was like, I think you've gotten a little bulkier now. Yeah, I had to. I like, went too you small. Was, like, you got yeah. so small. And yeah. I was just like. It was more worrying that size, to be honest. Nah, you looked amazing, bro. <laughs> you inspired the living black and blues out of me. Because Dude. I just couldn't. Like, it's one thing to see someone get in shape. But you was in shape, knew what you was doing, and you turned it into a business. I just thought that yeah. was very, very amazing. Like, yeah. It was like the one of the most inspiring things for me. And it still is one of those things. Like I'll always go on your page and check out, you know, different uh, techniques you, you 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 talk about, how you're working out. Like I, I think it's just one of the most inspiring things to watch a, a friend of mine from London turn it into a, 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 a something he loved. Oh, thanks, man. Turn, actually, let me say this. Turn a problem uh, into a solution. Into, into a solution. I like that. I like that. I like and now that. it's profiting from it. That's yeah. that's that's what you're supposed to do. Like, but like right? you said, you, you, when you have your team and you're, anyone's in here with you, you're working with, whatever you've learned, you naturally want to pass that knowledge on for them to become better. Yes, sir. And that's all I want to do. Like the position that you were in when we met, I would have loved to have the knowledge I've got now yeah. to have said to you at the time, you know what, Harmony? I can change your life right now right. by letting you know if you do this, this, and this, you'll be you'll be happier right. and you'll be getting on with your music, feeling good. But again, right. you've got to go on the journey. I want to talk about today is um I have a hashtag to which I'll be adding to your show, right. which is <laughs> I like this word. It's called that's not cool. <laughs> now when I'm in the gym, yeah, and I'm gonna go sit down on a leg press and someone leaves five hundred kg on there, that's, that's not, not cool. No, it's not. Now. What's your version of when you go to gym and that's not cool? I'll tell you what's not cool. When I need to use a, 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 the bench press and some fool is sitting down on the, on the end on his phone oh. for 45 minutes. That's not cool. cool. And it's the yeah. only bench press in there. In the gym. So when <laughs> I can't sitting, be mad at the one using his. Yeah, so when you're on the bench <laughs> and you're on the phone, you're procrastinating in between sets, yeah, that's, that's not, not cool. cool. All right, I, I'm happy with that. And I agree with that <laughs> a thousand percent. Oh, man. I've got another one. When you're like, when someone finishes working out and they've done a great workout, Clean up after yourself. It doesn't take five minutes to take a cloth and wipe it down. Like, Don't leave sweat on the that's bench. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, man. Well, again, thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having us in your studio. Thank you, man. And we'll see bro. you very soon, bro. Very soon, man. I love you. Yeah, Thanks, man. bro. Bless.